Hello and welcome to your 19th Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.2.5. This is Saga1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So, first off, I'm back, obviously, since I'm making this video. And I want to thank you guys. I actually expected to see a drop in subscribers since I wouldn't be able to upload videos for two weeks. And you guys would, I thought, um, some of you would find someone else to watch uh, for tutorials, but I actually saw an increase. Now I'm almost at 300 subscribers, just one less than that. Um, so thank you all so much for that. I think that's incredible. Um, and it's, it drives me to make more tutorials at a more frequent rate for you guys. So thank you all for that. Anyway, I meant for this tutorial to be how to create a redstone source block and then the next tutorial to create for how to create a new redstone wire. Um, but I'm actually having a bit of difficulty with um, creating a redstone source block. I had wanted it to be like a little mini series inside this series. Um, so I actually got a suggestion earlier today. Uh, to cover how to make something teleport the player and I decided that I that I, I mean I knew a really good place to look for that information um, and I, you can see it up here I looked in the ender pearl class um, because you know ender pearls teleport you so I figured it would be pretty easy it actually is and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So I'm going to only be modifying this item tutorial class. And there's only really one method we need to add. It's really easy. So the thing we want to do is public, uh, my arm itched, public item stack. Oh, and then on right click it may be on item right click I'll see that later and we want to do item stack um, let's just do I stack also one more thing a lot of you guys have been sending me errors with your code um, and I while I'm not able to fix all of it but um, one of the things I'll tell you if you send me your code is if you've been declaring your stuff like this with a capital P, you'll see that it, you'll notice that it might not work all the time. And that's because standard Java is to use a lowercase, um, a lowercase letter when you're declaring a variable. So that's one of the things I'll tell you to do if you've been doing that, because sometimes it does fix issues. Um, I'll also be, making a new video uh, in the next few days, basically common errors that you guys send me so that I don't have to just um, keep telling you guys how to fix the same errors over again. So anyway, back to this, that was sort of off topic. Now we just want to do comma, world, world, comma, entity, player, player. Then squiggly brackets. And now we just want to do return I stack. And it is on item right click. Yeah, okay, so it's on item right click, item stack, and then you can name this anything you want, world, you can name this anything you want, and player, or entity player, name this anything you want. Anyway, um, what this is doing is item stack is, I think, new to you guys. What this is basically doing is it's saying from this stack of items, um, what should we do to it after it's right clicked? What I'm saying is do nothing. Um, so it won't delete the item after use. What you would normally want to do is return I stack dot um, like, I, I've i never done anything like this before, but you would want to use a method. I'll try to figure that out um, for you guys. And you would want to subtract an item or subtract the whole stack, etc. Anyway, what we want to do now is declare a variable. And this is going to have us determine which direction the player is facing. 
And I am never able to remember the exact code for this. I actually got the code um, from someone online. I don't know who it is, or I'd give you credit. Sorry about that. I've It was a long time ago. But it's very hard to memorize. So I copied it uh, from one of my classes on a, on a mod I've released. And I have modified it a little bit. Um, in there. So basically it's getting all this data and turning it into either 0, 1, 2, or 3 to determine the direction the player is facing. Uh, feel free to copy that. Sorry I can't give credit to whoever made it, um, but yeah. So it's mathhelper.floor underscore double and then all this stuff. Hopefully you guys can read. Otherwise, I don't know how you got to this video in the first place. Um, so now what we want to do is just using this, we want to do if player facing equal equal zero. And we want to just put pl uh, player dot set position and then player dot pose x and then zero is going to be the z coordinate plus 10. I've actually got this written down the x minus 10 x plus 10 etc um, because I can't remember that sort of stuff um, but then we want play oops, player dot pause y and player dot pause z plus 10. Now let's just copy this and then else if player facing equal equal 1. Copy that and we're actually going to want to do pause x minus 10 and then delete this. What this is going to do is it's just going to teleport the player 10 spaces in whatever direction. You could use this code with food code, like after you eat the food, it um, teleports the player or something. But I'm just showing you how to do the raw teleportation. So now we just want else if player facing equal equal 2. Copy, and we actually want to do this minus 10, and then else if player facing equal equal 3, copy, delete this, and put minus 10. So that's it. Um, it's a really simple method compared to, well, it should be simple for you now if you're just starting. It's not a terribly simple method, but it um, it's a pretty simple method. And we want to save that. And so let's. I I was doing some testing uh, with this because I didn't take this from a tutorial online or anything. I took it. Um, I that's my own code except for the um, player facing. So now I'm, I'm standing on this, I forget what it's for exactly, um, what we used it for, but, uh, Minecraft music, that scared me. Um, anyway, sorry about the game sounds again, difficulties with that, I just don't want to mess with that. But now if we stand here and I right click facing this direction, oh, right, um, I turned right click on my mouse off, and, okay. You'll notice it's not teleporting us onto the... I got that wrong, didn't I? I got that all wrong. That's backwards. Okay, so that was X, I believe. So plus and mine. Oh, ha. Huh. Okay. I, I had minus instead of plus. So that's why 
it's important. But anyway, um, so if I right click here, uh, you'll see it teleported us 10 blocks and um, I, we can go in any direction we wish except, I see how, yeah. So that crushed us into the mountain. So obviously the code's not perfect. You would need to use um, some code to make sure that you always landed, say, on the top of a hill or something. Um, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I would hope that you all would be able to figure that out by now. Um, and that's basic teleportation code. I'm working on trying to get uh, redstone source blocks working and then I'm going to, so I'll try to do a tutorial on that and once I figure it out. Um, and then I'll do a tutorial on creating a new redstone wire. I think I'll make it blue instead of red. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.